Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Lean and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. Today I want to talk to you about Azure Migrate. Azure Migrate was launched in 2017 and is a great tool for being able to assess and migrate your workloads from on-prem into Azure. We now have the ability to assess and migrate physical workloads from on-prem into the cloud. We can even use that technology to be able to assess and migrate workloads from other clouds as well. So let's have a look and dive in. In order to assess the physical estate, we need to download the Azure Migrate appliance. And you can do that by getting the latest version from aka.ms slash azmigphysical. Now, once you've downloaded the necessary installer files and unzipped them, you need to kick off that install and we do that via PowerShell. So on your server, on-prem, you need to launch a PowerShell command window and navigate to the folder where the installer files are. Once in the right directory, run the Azure Migrate install PowerShell file. This will kick off the installer checks and start off making modifications to your registry, roles installed and installing the necessary tooling. Once the installation has taken place, a browser window will open that starts the Azure Migrate appliance tooling. You'll be asked to read and accept the license terms and then the appliance will run through some checks, some basic internet connectivity checks and time sync checks. It'll also check that the latest version of Azure Migrate appliance has been installed as well and if not, it will carry on um, installing the necessary updates for you. Now, once those checks have been carried out, you'll be asked to register this appliance. This involves logging into your Azure tenant with the relevant credentials. Once you do this, you'll be asked which Azure subscription and Azure Migrate project you want to register this new appliance with. You will also give this appliance a name, which will help you identify it within the Azure Migrate project. The next section is about adding credentials and you're adding credentials so that the Azure Migrate appliance has the right access level to be able to collect data from your physical servers. And the last section is to point the appliance at the physical servers you want to assess and the credentials you want to use. Now in this example, I have used IP addresses to identify my servers, but you could use the fully qualified domain name if you prefer for your servers. The appliance will validate that information you have provided and once it is happy with that data, it will start to collect information and data about your servers. I'd always recommend a minimum of 24 hours for the data collection and if possible, allow it to actually run for a whole month. This will give you a good usage pattern for your servers so that you can base recommendations on that usage pattern. Now, after a short while, you can go into the Azure portal and start to see that data that's being collected by the Azure Migrate appliance, and you can then do some further analysis on that data. So the process of assessing your physical servers um, isn't very different from how you would assess your virtual servers using Azure Migrate. Ultimately, the data you get out from either assessment of your physical or virtual machines is the same um, data. And you can use that going forward to plan how you want to migrate your workloads from on-prem into the cloud. So if you have some physical servers within your environment, you're looking to decommission and move into Azure, please do give Azure Migrate a go today and let us know any feedback or improvements that we can have within the product. Thank you for watching.